Hello everyone, welcome to the film uh, long time no seeing. Um, I'm um, doing um, an, an update and um, on the, the last two uh, beers I, I put in the YouTube channel the Bruin Bag Porter and the Smash Pale Ale with Maris Otter and Nelson Sova. So we'll see first the, 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 the brown porter. This is deep dark brown with a reddish hue. It's pretty clear if you see through the light. Uh, it has a nice uh, creamy head, beige colored. It, it fermented out uh, to 10, 12, so it's around 5% ABV alcohol. The nose, you get a little bit of that Fuggles, you know, aroma, uh, and lots of, uh, of course, coffee, uh, chocolatey. It's very chocolatey actually, and you get some of that spicy Munich uh, malt notes. It has a lot, lot of Munich in it, uh, more than I used to. Um, put. Let's dive in. Cheers. Well, this, the, 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 it tastes very nice. You get some sweetness and it dries out. It's a medium body, too thin. It's actually very dry finish. The caramel g comes through. Um, some, you get some of those um, fruity notes maybe from the yeast and the, and the, you get some dark fruits in here and, and like uh, I wouldn't say well berries man a little bit of coffee less than coffee in the mouth than you get in the in the, the nose it's very nice um, what I think uh, of course, it, this was a brew in a bag. It was intended to show an uh, easy way to, to brew beer with, with just basic, ba very basic resources. So, the mashing was not 100% controlled temperature. Um, it, it, it came out a little bit too dry for, for, for uh, what I want, what I like in a porter. I like a, a little bit of more, you know, sweetness residual sweetness but it's a very nice very easy to drink porter you get more caramel and chocolate and and some fruity notes um, it dries out it's bitter but not too much it's around uh, 35 IBUs but it's a very well balanced recipe what I want for my next porter, I won't change uh, a lot. I will uh, just um, maybe mash it 67, 68, single infusion, slightly less Munich, but just a little bit less Munich and, and, and more uh, Mary's Otter or, or Golden Promise or something like that. But it's a, a pretty nice one. Very nice beer. I'm I'm, I'm pleased with it. Um, and uh, well, uh, half half of it is already gone. And here she is, almost clear, with a frothy white head. It's uh, like. Belgian carbonated the style. Um, this was the one that, that was very cloudy in the um, after the, the, the brew day. I, I think I, I over crushed the grain in, in the end and, and it just had too much flour. So I used the gelatin 
to clear it up and, and well, it worked pretty nice. Two months in the bottle. It's a really clear golden, it's 100% Mary's Otter with a frothy, big head, Belgian carbonated. Well, the nose is very... Mm, you get the hops. It, it's not a very hoppy beer. Uh, I put lots of hops in it. You can see the recipe in the blog. Um, but it's uh, like a pale ale. It, it has no dry hopping. But you get lots of lemony notes. Well, white wine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it white wine. It's very citric. Very citrusy. Let's see what what should we get here. Eh? So I have here Nelson Sova hop profile. So in the nose, well, I get almost fruity, a little bit of, of pineapple. That yeah, I, I I get pineapple. I get lemon, especially that. Maybe some, some of that uh, resiny mango, green mangoes. So it has a strong fruity flavor aroma, described as resembling white wine. Yeah, okay, okay. Some kind of really fresh, fresh crushed grapes. Grapefruit tangerine that, that I get here, I get that, that citrusy notes. And passion fruit tropical I, I I think more pineapple more pineapple in the nose than than, than passion fruit but it's not not a very hoppy well I I, I I put lots of hops in it but not that much it has no dry hopping nothing so time to dive in cheers Hmm. Very, very refreshing. This fermented down to 10, uh, 7. So that's uh, over uh, 80% uh, attenuation. Eh? This uh, M44 West Coast yeast from Mangrove Jacks is really, really a sugar hitter. It, 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 if you want something really dry, and, and at the same time completely clean this is a really a yeast to to consider the malt it's it's yeah it has mellowed down a little bit mary's otter it's um, a strong one when it's new it's maybe even too biscuity buttery sweet biscuity buttery now it's au uh, point like the french say um, it's uh, it, it gives uh, sweetness, honey sweetness, uh, light caramel, sugary sweetness, and a nice bready, grainy uh, flavor. The beer is bitter, but very very smooth bitterness. So they say as a bittering hop, Nelson Sauvignon. It's low because oh, the, the the name sometimes. Malone content imparts a very smooth bitterness. I agree. I really agree with this one, 100%. It's very smooth and at the same time its flavor and its uh, aromas it is a, a really complex, you get lots of things. In the mouth you get that white wine character and also tangerine some sweet, some tropical, more like mango grapefruit in the mouth, more than, than, than you get in the nose. Really nice, really complex. Uh, I still have some Nelson Sova and, and this one is the one to, 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 to use um, in future brews. I'm really enjoying this beer, it's very refreshing, it's uh, dry, a little bit bitter, but not too much. It has lots of sweetness, even I think you get some sweet uh, impression from the hops, but, but of, of course from this malt. 
okay and this was it um, this is how they came out um, well I hope you enjoyed it uh, see you next time cheers